Welcome to another very rare Saturday Night Chakra. Um, I'm not sure if I have done one of these since the album came out. Um, but it's something that I think I need to do for myself and something that I think hopefully will help people. Um, and today um, I had a message that was on my mind a couple of days ago that I wanted to do for Saturday Night Chakra, which is why I you know, decided to record, but then when I sat down to record it, I completely forgot it. Couldn't remember what it was, um, but the word growth just kept popping into my head. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about my ideas on growth. When we think about growth, um, a lot of times there's different categories that we go into. I mean, you know, you have personal growth, you have uh, professional growth, you have physical growth. Um, all of these take energy. All of these are something that is you, um, especially when you're looking at the personal and professional. I think that a lot of times we tend to separate those ideas, but in reality, there's only one you. Now, there's different facets of you, there's different things that you might do, but there's only one you. Um, you only have so many hours in a day, you only have so much energy. and hopefully what you put energy into will grow but you have to ask yourself what is growth what is worth growing and how does that look um, something that I've been definitely thinking about recently if you haven't you know if you don't know if you're unaware uh, my girlfriend Nikita is pregnant our family is growing this is growth um, and Yes, that, that is a personal growth. That's the growth of our family. But at the same time, now we have to expand our ideas of professional growth. How do you balance this? Um, where am I going to place my energy? What is most important? And I think that's something that we forget about when we talk about growth. When you're a kid, growing requires a lot of energy. You have to sleep. Your body's going through all these changes. There's pain because you know you have, your, your joints might hurt. That's what happens when you grow. Changes causes friction, changes causes you know, discomfort, and growth is change by its nature. Um, it, there's no way around it. And I think we have to, one, embrace that, embrace that growth is change and, and accept that. And two, try our best to put, make the areas that we want to grow, grow. Um, Happiness is an area that I think people forget about when they're talking about growth. I think you have to f intend and find intention on growing your happiness. Um, so there's a lot of areas, right? So how do you find the energy to grow all these areas? How do you balance those things? You know, I think it's funny because I've been doing, a f like, you know, Saturday Night Chakras for a few years now, and so many times I return to this idea of balance. I use that word so many times when it comes to this, because um, really that's that's the ultimate key. And, you know, you have to find some sort of balance, even when you're trying to figure out how, how you're going to spend your energy to grow something. Um, you got to really ask yourself what's important, um, because if you don't, you know, people will make demands on you, and they will use you to help what they're doing grow, what's going on with them grow. And you, you know, you might grow in that area, but that might not be the area you really want to grow in. Like you might spend, I think a lot of people spend a lot of energy trying to grow their professional careers only to find out that that does not grow their happiness. And that trade-off is not something that they were happy about. Um, so I think it's just good to be intentional about where you're growing, how you're growing, and, and what you're putting your energy into finding that balance so uh, for me I have been very intentional over the past few months of trying to trying to find ways to grow professionally in ways that will help my growing family like that's really been my concern I'm trying to I I'm big on combining everything I don't separate like that like I understand that there are separate things but I, I never lose sight of there, everything's connected. So to me, it's how can I combine, you know, how can I make, how can I fuse them? How can I fuse my professional growth with my personal growth in a way that, that blends well? 
Um, and that's just how I like to do things. I'm big on combining things. I know some people like to separate, um, but from my perspective, everything is connected, you know. So that's what I've been doing. Um, I hope, you know, if you guys are out there, I know that it's been a, it's been a tough year still. You know, we're still, you know, hopefully we're coming to the end of, of um, a, a certain type of quarantine. But I don't think that things will be back to normal as many of us know it for a long period of time. And that's going to take some adjustments. And um, I hope that you guys can find balance in that. And I hope that these, this period of time that we're still in where you have some time to self-reflect on what's important to you, that you figure out what areas you need to grow, how you need to grow, and what's important for you to grow. Saturday Night Shopper, we out.